Jamrin developers. This is Jamrin guys. So 30 second tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating entry cell demo as like this inside our table view sample. This is my default values that I'll be placing inside my entry cells. So in order to create such type of project, at first we'll go to file, then new, and then project. Here we'll be basically dealing about cross platform as we are writing code for both Android as well as iOS. So I'll select that cross platform app. And then we have to give same name as table view sample and click on OK. After that, you can select any project that is your codable as well as shared project. In Jamrin forms, whatever you code goes to your root project because it applies to all project. We need to first of all go to our project. Here we'll be specifically talking about root project, not other project that are targeting both operating system like Android and iOS. So I'll be minimizing that. At first, we'll create a new page as entry cell demo inside our Jamrin forms content page and then give a same name as entry cell demo and click on add your main page is a placeholder which contains the page that is entry cell demo to be loaded at first when our app gets started now let us go to our design part of entry cell demo here my background image is inside my drawable folder of both android as well as ios after that we have to place some content inside our content page that is our table view and then we have already discussed about table view in previous sessions now let us give a table selection title as keyboard and then entry cell label as default then placeholder also as a default at first entry cell will be presented in the form of default value and then entry cell will be represented in the form of chat then keyboard will be chart and then entry cell should be represented in email format as placeholder I'll be giving it as something at the rate examining.com and then keyboard as email again for our entry cell I have to represent it as numeric it will get some numeric data inside it and keyboard as numeric and then again we should represent our entry cell level as telephone as it gets the placeholder as to telephone value and then keyword as telephone and then entry cell again I am going to represent as text as it will take our text value inside it now we have to place our entry cell level as URL and this entry will take the URL value inside it let us give that keyboard as URL as it will take URL value and then again we'll represent our table selection whose title will be states and color now we are going to represent entry cell in form of colors by giving label as disabled this will be my disabled value for my entry cell as is enable will be false and then again entry cell will be colorful here i'll be placing that entry cell label as color of red and then again i have to merge that both as colorful and disabled and then placing that placeholder name as false and then label color as blue that's all now let us check whether our program is correct or not okay i have to place that table selection and then paste over here that's all now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not okay our application is debugging Okay, we got our expected output. Here I can add a telephone value as numbers, then text any inside my entry cell, and then this is my disabled value, and this is my colorful plus disabled entry. Then this is my color, colorful entry cell. Here I can add anything inside my colorful entry cell, and then this is my 
default value where I can add anything inside my entry cell. That's all for now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.